Africa's Mbali Tetani is in El Dorado Park for us tonight. Mbali, the community there is questioning the integrity of any investigation that has been done into the killing of Nathaniel Julius, simply because that crime scene, we understand, was contaminated from the get-go without officers collecting any kind of evidence from that scene. Where are you going to buy yeah, food? Cool, yeah, no, no. Okay, sorry, bro. Oh, that's right, Kathy. And we heard that from the community yeah. members here. Yeah. And this is also a spot yeah, yeah. No, no, which no, the no, NEC no, for Community yeah. Safety, Thank Faith Mazimbugo, yeah. went to go and inspect herself. I mean, you know that uh, at a crime scene of that nature, you would usually see a police tape that surrounds that actual crime scene. But this is not the case, Kathy. But joining us now, we are joined by the MEC for Community Safety. Mum Faith, we've seen, you've went to the family of Nathaniel Julius and we've seen what has happened here in the community. Members of this community say that that young boy has died at the hands of the police. Uh, indeed, it is a very sad situation. And as the Gauteng Provincial Government, we dip our banner uh, in sending condolences to the family and also to the community of El Dorado Park. Yes, uh, the, po the independent police directorate, what you call IPIT, was here, has been interviewing the implicated uh, officers, and they've made sure that they remove the docket from the station. Police cannot investigate each other. So they've removed the docket to go and investigate it. So theirs is to also interview uh, uh, witnesses. And really, really, we plead with communities of El Dorado Park they must allow that process to go on so that we bring closure to the matter and really, really know what exactly happened. Because we're hearing different stories of, what, of, of really what happened, whilst uh, the police are also giving their own side of the story. So no sooner we allow the IP to investigate and interview witnesses and get everybody, justice must be served. All of us, we agree but it must be served with the correct measures so that then you don't end up uh, coming to a wrong conclusion when in actual fact it's something else that really happened. Really, really what has happened here, all of us, we feel we are ashamed in fact. They say the young man was autistic, so obviously, even if you talk to him, he will not function like a normal 16-year-old, but he will be that of a, a, a younger age. So obviously, Police need to always exercise patience when they talk to young people. We know that sometimes due to what we, uh, the level two lockdown, where they, we encourage everyone to stay indoors, there may be others who are walking around. So as families also, let us always know where our children are, so that then it's also easy to account even if any incident happens, so that we don't get incitement from the community by others alleging this whilst as family we don't necessarily know what exactly uh, happened. We spent almost all day here today and we've spoken to a number of the community residents and they're basically saying that this is not the first time that this has happened. Another child has died at the hands of the police and they still don't have answers for that. Uh, we have requested uh, that file to actually be retrieved so that then uh, that incident that happened here uh, before uh, police obviously in their training they need to improve on some of those things to say if you are till you know the problem in El Dorado Park is that there's a lot of gangsterism so we keep on urging community members let us make sure we read our communities of all the bad elements because now when police come chasing whoever they are chasing you find that even our kids are playing outside. So no sooner as community members, whoever stays with you in your own home, you know what type of life does he live, where, how does he make a living? So that all these other wrong people, they don't paint a wrong picture about El Dorado Park, the better. So it becomes crucial. I mean, El Dorado Park has got speed humps, it has got, it's, like, it, it's a mini suburb. So you don't expect cars to be driving at high speed. But most of all, if we know of all those that are doing wrong amongst ourselves, let us report them to the police so that then police don't come chasing after them and 
young children end up being caught in the crossfire. That's the first incident. With this one, as I indicated, it is still being investigated. We don't know exactly what happened. All of us were not witnesses, but the forensics will, after the ballistics have been done and the forensics have been done, then the bullet will inform the investigators from whose gun did it come out. That way, we are able to know exactly and be able to bring the matter to closure. I'm sure as the community is mourning, the family is also mourning, let us also support them and make sure that we bring calm here in El Dorado Park. MEC, this community has identified a policeman by the name of Scorpion. Uh, they say that uh, he is responsible uh, for the death of Nathaniel. Has he been brought in for questioning? Uh, all police who work in the station, the district commissioner has removed them. So that then whoever in Sutu Unkhalefuta will, will be clear. So that's the procedure that they have done now. So that then you don't point at Scorpion and you find it's not Scorpion, it's somebody else. So all the police, so that then they investigate and bring the matter to a closure. So that's what we wish to appeal. So that then we also, they say a person is innocent until proven otherwise. We don't point at Scorpion when we are not sure if it is Scorpion. I doubt there's a person called Scorpion. But I'm sure he has a name and a rank. No sooner community calls him by name. Police have got names on their badges. If we can get the name, it will be bad because we won't know who is Scorpion now. But we, that's what we wish to appeal upon. Each time police, as community members, we deal with police, check their name, know who you talk to, so that then it's easy even to say it's so and so. That way, not all the police are painted with the same brush, but you then become specific. I repeat again, all the police that work here have been shifted so that then they are investigated properly and really, really bring the matter to a close. <laughs> Let me see, what do you have to say about the complaints coming out from this community? This police station, which you're about to go into right now, was attacked. Community members say that they are tired of coming here to come and report matters because nothing gets done. What is it as the Gauteng province that you are doing about uh, this police station? Because we've seen a number of complaints and it seems as if it's falling on deaf ears. And this is something that's coming out from the community saying that we come here, we report matters, but simply nothing gets done. Uh, in Sutu, they say ki khomya mshati. Wai tswara umulatu, wai lisa umulatu. I don't know what does it. Oh, in English, direct translation. It's a cow from a royal family. You leave it to wander, you are at fault. You catch it, you are at fault. I don't know how many times minister has come to Eldorado Park. We have held imbizos here in Eldorado Park. We have engaged communities of Eldorado Park. We have changed station commanders in Eldorado Park. We have changed police, but it forever remains the same complaint. So ours as community, there is a line or a phone number that you are able to call if you are not happy with the service that you get from the police. So that then we don't just assume that the police is not servicing our people. There are those that can tell you another story and say, I get better help since this new brigadier, Van Dijk, is here at the station. Even issues of corruption were able to report and he acts immediately. We don't want any tainted police. We want police who rise above uh, 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 all the wrong things and be able to keep the dignity of the police. So I hope that all community members who may be complaining about the police, like I indicate. I don't know how many invisors we have had. Out of all the townships, I'm not sure I'll run a park. Uh, I, my fingers run out as I'm trying to count because we do listen to communities of Eldorado Park. We take very serious when they raise their concerns. We even come here and engage with them. What they say, this one, this lawyer, lawyer, we say one side and bring in other policemen so that then they come and serve the community. What we request from them, cooperation, Pelangi. so that then we help each other, we assist one another, and if there are rotten potatoes within this bag, we're able to eliminate those rotten potatoes. But we want men and women who will come and serve our communities.
And this time around, MEC, you've spoken about the interventions which you have made uh, for this community. How can you assure the community that this time around, because you can see them, they went on the rampage once more today, uh, they've blocked roads, uh, they've attacked this police station. How can you ensure and make a promise to them that this time around that you are dealing with the issues that they have raised uh, on various occasions? We wish to call upon the community also not to be incited. To attack a police station, you are attacking a national key point. Let's not do that. But if we are unhappy about the service we are getting, let's walk in and ask for the station commander. If he is not listening to us, there's a district commissioner and there's a provincial commissioner. We wish to call upon our community members that whatever they are raising with us and the police that they are unhappy with will be investigated and will be thoroughly they'll get a feedback on some of those matters. They were reassuring them there won't be any stone that will be left unturned until we get to the bottom of this incident and all their complaints that they keep bringing to the older report. Over and above, they must not withdraw cases. I have a list of people who have withdrawn cases from this police station. After we have worked flat out in ensuring that the perpetrator is arrested, even making sure that we come and check if he or she has been arrested. But ultimately, they withdraw cases. Can they also refrain from withdrawing cases? Allow the process to go on. If, if, if it is a family violence matter, the mediators, the social workers to resolve the matter, but we must never withdraw the cases until they appear in court. That's my plea also with them. All right, thank you very much. Of course, uh, Cathy, that is the MEC for Community Safety there, Faith Mazimbuka, just talking about the various issues facing uh, this community. We've seen them uh, blocking roads. Uh, we've seen them uh, blocking roads with rocks, um, throwing petrol bombs at the police uh, who are here. But I must say that uh, tensions ha have been calm now. Uh, calm has been restored uh, to uh, this area. And we do know that the MEC is going inside this police station uh, to speak to the station commander. She has also told us uh, that uh, the issues around a police, uh, a, a police who are here at this police station, they have since been asked to step aside for now as matters here get investigated.